if you're going to use some of these crayons. Right? So the color coding, you will have your colors, you have your topic, and always your tip. Then, remember your chain reference, you have a text list next to it. If you want to combine your color code and your chain reference, put your text verses next to that topic immediately. And your second text verse will go there next to. <coughs> right? Can you see? So when you look at your Bible and you look at your topics, you will understand why it was blue for blue was for trust, green was for lying, and so forth. Can you see it? You have identified, where did you identify that colors? At the back of your Bible. So and I'm not going over the advantages or and the disadvantages. Uh, you have to do that. Now cross-referencing. Now sometimes you sometimes in the Bible you get the same text verses in in the Bible. You will find a text verse in Matthew and you will find the same text verse in Mark. Did you notice that? Right? So the same method, this method looks like which method? The chain one, right? So CR will indicate to you cross-referencing. So you will use maybe the same. You see, if we use first John um, 1 verse 9. And if you go into your chain reference, you might find, you're not might, you will find the same text verse that leads up more or less to this text verse in that, in that cross referencing. And if I have to ask somebody to read that, you will find the one that you read in first John, you will find in second Corinthians 2. Understand? Right. So there you can see it. There's your first John. There's, there's your first John. First John is linked to second Corinthians. Second Corinthians is linked to first John. Correct. That is same text verses. Okay. We have color three. Highlighting is more or less the same as your as your color coding. And obviously, I don't know why they did a repeat of that in the same line for under. Remember also, when you underline something, you can't erase. If you color coding, you can't erase. So you, when you do this order, you need to be very, very careful. Right? You're going to say, I'm going to use green for Sabbath. And remember that green, you need to cherish for a period. Because you're never going to find that same green again. And that's why we say invest in your own things. By now you as a leader should have a bag somewhere in your house. Where all your power find the stuff is in. If you don't have the facilities. And in that bag your resources must be in that bag. If you have the resources you will have your book rack. And yeah, your under, wherever. You know what I'm saying. The spaces in your house become your church by the end of the day. So put your stuff in there so that you know exactly where your stuff is. And don't, I don't want to be selfish, but don't share it with your kids. Buy their own stuff. So, and, and, and try, if you buy something for your kid, try to buy something for you also because you will need the same stuff. Then you can say, but of course, yeah, I gave you a set. Where is your set? If you lost it, sorry, I can't purchase your own now. And he must say for his own stuff. Try to implement that. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover, I like, I don't want you to do the same, no? but I like the chain referencing. It's easier. The chain referencing, your first text verse is where? At the back of your book. Where's the second text verse? Next to the verse. And the third verse? Next to the second verse. Sec next to the second text verse. Are you with me? It's easy. Am I right? Okay, let's give you a homework. 